What's up, YouTube? Arc Talent here, and today we're going to be looking over my Halo Infinite wishlist for 343 Industries. And this is just what I want. Disclaimer, this video is about what I want personally in Halo Infinite. I hope you enjoy and leave a comment about what you would like to see. So, this is just my personal opinion. Okay. And then, this is what I would like in the, in the campaign. The, I would love a new boss battle, so like the only one we had was like Tartarus. And I guess you could say the Warden... I guess. Um, aerial combat would be pretty nice. Like, in Halo 3, there was air combat. Halo 5, there was, like, a little bit. And, yeah, like, air combat's pretty fun. Like, in Halo 3, there was, like, that big section. And then playing as different characters would be great. So, like, in Halo 3, you could play as Arbiter, the Master Chief, and then two other elites. And then maybe in Halo 3, you can play as Arbiter, Chief, Spartan Mock, and maybe... Maybe, the, I don't know about the fourth one, maybe just some random elite, or some random Spartan, I don't know. Or if there's a new character, that'd be nice. So, a longer campaign for Halo Infinite would be pretty cool also, because there's going to be a lot of stuff to cover. And good writing, body language, and cutscenes. So, in Halo Reach, they had, like, a lot of body language. I watched a video about this, like, a, another YouTuber made it. But, like, you could actually tell what was going on. It just, like, got some emotion in the story. Because at the beginning of Halo 5, everyone was just standing around doing nothing, so... Good storytelling, free roam maps, yeah, like open maps like Comedy Evolves and Halo 3 would be great. And then Spartan Ops or Halo 3 EST would be good, like after Halo Infinite. Maybe like, or before. It could tie in like the Banished or like maybe the Spirit of Fire. It could tie in Halo Wars 2. I'm not sure if they want to keep it their own separate thing or do you keep it in Halo Infinite, I don't know. But something like that, like while we're waiting for like the next Halo or just like in between. That'd be pretty cool, too. And then definitely give us Marine and ODST and Elite Allies. Because in Halo 5, we barely got any Allies. Like, any, like, AIs. And old vehicles would pre be pretty cool. Like, the Falcon would be good in multiplayer, because it's, like, a teamwork vehicle. It takes Troop Chance for Warthog would be good in the campaign. The Mammoth would be, like, really fun. And so would the Elephant. And, dude, the Grizzly Tank would be perfect in the campaign. It's one of the most epic vehicles in Halo, and I would really love to just drive it. Okay, next slide. Armor customization, some old helmets that would be pretty cool to bring back would be the Hayabusa. Like, a lot of people like the Hayabusa, including me. Recon, EVA, a meal helmet, which is like the EVA helmet, but like with the scratches on it. And Halo 5 did bring back some of these. But the Halo Reach helmets, they were only at the beginning. Like, I really want to buy them again, but then they won't come out with the pack, so... Eh -eh. Um, Scout, Irresult. And then keep the good helmets from Halo 5, such as the Halo Scroll, Locust, and more. Like, there's some helmets where, like, a lot of people don't like them. You could have, like, a lot of helmets. And then, like, some older ones pretty, pretty cool also. And definitely have playable elites. Playable elites are awesome. And then there's another slide on that. Armor effects, but keep them subtle, so, like... Make sure you, like, players can just mess around with them, but make sure, like, they're subtle, because people might, it might give away their position, or, like, might just look really r weird. Weapon lowering for Machinima, Halo 5 has that. Most importantly, players should earn their armor by doing challenges or reaching ranks. It gives the players a good sense of accomplishment. Okay, playable elites would be pretty cool for Machinima and fan fans of the Sanghealy, including me. And if there are hitbox issues, they could just balance it out by having the elites move faster than Spartans. Because they have longer legs. So they have a bigger hitbox, but they can move faster. This could balance it. And maybe you can have the option to, like, um, get rid of the movement speed boost. Um, if for, like, custom games or something. Or you could just have a bigger hitbox. Eh, I don't know. Maybe bigger hitbox, more health. Something like that. Armor abilities, some, make some of them single use, like Halo 3, so if a player kills someone who hasn't used it, then they can have it. And Sprint should be an armor ability in my opinion, because it can increase speed. And so, there's a couple single usage ones, and a couple recharge use ones, and really bring back the jetpack. I don't know why it wasn't in Halo 5, but it would be great. Armor lock would be pretty cool too, but like only for 3 seconds. Because it's annoying when, like, you're about to kill someone and go in armor lock, and then you have to wait for a long time and inhale a reach. And make sure it has a slow regen time. So, you use it when you need it. Not, like, every second there's, there's like, a tank coming out for you to just keep armor locking, because that gets annoying fast. 
And then for the single uses ones, make sure like you can have like armor abilities, but like also have some of them mixed in too, because that was pretty cool in Halo 3. I mean not Halo 3, Halo Reach. Where you could have like two of them in one. It would make it better. So bubble shield and regeneration would be pretty cool. I like that. So like, you could put the shield down and also reach on your health. Okay. Here's multiplayer. There will be a good variety of games at launch with temporary game modes such as holiday specials, events, and challenges to spice, spice up gameplay and keep players active. Some new modes would be nice as well. Some club vehicles would be nice because they require teamwork such as the falcon or elephant. The scarab and mammoth and multiplayer would be nice too. So I was thinking of this game mode where you can have a mammoth or a scarab. And like, this reminds me of like Battlefront 2 where like, let's say like there's a, this is like an invasion game mode where a scarab's coming to your base. And you need to, like, stop the scarab by, like, shooting its legs or something. And then you have to climb a board and take it out while, like, other players are trying to defend it. And the evasion would be pretty cool to make it come back as well. Forge. The Halo 5 Forge is perfect. The addition of new map options, prefabs, and settings is great. It would be pretty cool for, like, new players who don't know how to forge would have, like, a tutorial. Or like a bit tutorial about the basics. I still don't know how to do scripting, and then there's some of my friends who don't even know how to forge in general. So although like oh, it can also seem a bit complicated for like players who are used to like the Hill Three and Hill Reach Forge, but in Master Chief Collection, the forge is more simplified. Firefight would be customizable in waves and settings like Halo Reach, and. Um, you should be able to have like marines and ODSTs and elites on your side in firefight. Like it should have the option, cause that'd be pretty cool if like let's say you need to hold down a base, then like, you have marines some assisting you. So think like that Halo Reach anniversary map where you have those like four ODSTs. That was actually pretty cool. And flood firefight would be pretty cool, but like I was thinking that could be like a separate game, like a spinoff, cause a lot of people were talking about the like, flood horror game. And Halo Five Theater would be the same, but it would be. Possibly improved in any way, maybe. So also have like a file share thing, sort of like how Halo Reach did. And yeah, that's about it. Please leave a like and subscribe on what you'd like to see in Halo Infinite. Like, leave a comment down below. And that is all, folks. So, see you next time.